How would you like to get the government to buy your Airbnb property? What? That sounds crazy, right? Yeah, it's not. Let's talk. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I help you guys invest in real estate, all types of real estate, right? Section 8, wholesale, flips. Short-term rentals, Airbnb, and that's what we're talking about today for my client, Paula. Paula, you're down there in Austin, Texas, right? Now, Austin gets a lot of people moving into it, right? You get a lot of people escaping California communism, and they, they come to Austin. So Austin doesn't have a problem uh, attracting a lot of people to move there, right? Now, there's this other market. It's called Cleveland, Ohio. Not necessarily a market a lot of people think about when they think about people moving into somewhere, right? And that's how I'm going to get the government to buy you an Airbnb, right? There are actually certain neighborhoods of Cleveland where the government is paying developers to build new construction because they want gentrification in certain areas. And when you invest in a gentrifying neighborhood, folks, what do you think you get? You get high price increases. So, uh, uh, Paula, if you pay attention to the hottest neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, outside of the pure cash flow you can get running it as an Airbnb through my company, we will handle everything on the ground because it would be really hard for you to do so from Austin. You have an opportunity to hop on that appreciation train, right? Let's check out the numbers on this deal and more information on how the free money from the government works right after this. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back, folks. We're going to jump into this beautiful Airbnb, man. This is one of the hottest neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, right? Cleveland, Ohio, that's what we're doing, folks. We're invested in the Cleveland, Ohio market because it's very, very cheap. If you Google where are the best cash flow markets, it's always at the top. You may be thinking like, yo, what? Who's taking vacations in Cleveland? Lots of motherfuckers. I don't know, man. That's what they're doing. But you got to be smart where you buy your properties. And this property is in a very smart neighborhood. Now, there's a whole bunch of neighborhoods in Cleveland. I've graded them all, okay? A to F scale, ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. It's in the notes below this video. It's also uh, available on the tools and resource section of HoltonWise.com. There's a whole lot of areas in Cleveland where if you go, who in the hell would take a vacation there? You're damn right. There's a lot of neighborhoods in Cleveland where ain't no motherfucker going to take a vacation. But this ain't one of them. There's some super hot markets. This, you may have heard of this. It's called Little Italy, folks. Google it if you haven't heard of it. The Feast of the Assumption, right? That's an annual feast. Google that thing. Woo, boy, you're going to get some food up in that belly at the Feast of the Assumption, man. Check that stuff out. This neighborhood is a draw, but the pricing still super cheap compared to other markets. And you know what else is great about the Cleveland market? How about free money? What? Should open the show with that. Free money. There are certain neighborhoods in Cleveland we are seeing revitalization and gentrification. You want to know why? Because Cleveland is paying for it. This property comes with a tax abatement. Totally tax abated on the building until 2031. The only thing you're paying taxes on is the land, right? Because this is a newer build, okay? In certain areas, Cleveland wants to see gentrification happen, and they're paying for it, right? Via tax abatements, full tax abatements on new construction, okay? They're 10-year abatements. This was already built, though. It's a few years old, as you can see, 2015 build date. So uh, we are going to see... Uh, a tax abatement until, uh, I'm sorry, not 2030. Uh, that would be wrong. That's actually what they wrote in the, the notes. No, no, no. That should be a tax abatement till 2025. Till 2025 because they're 10-year abatements. This was built in 2015. 2025. Looks like the listing agent screwed that one up a little bit. 2025. My bad. I was uh, just kind of glancing at the notes there. 2025. It was built in 2015. Okay. And you're going to get that tax abatement, right? Check out this property. Uber nice, man. 
this is what you want, dude. You don't have to do a thing to this other than put some furniture in there, right? Big old windows, open concept. This thing is looking banging, and it is right in the heart of where people want to be, right downtown. You got Little Italy is an incredible draw. You got freaking the Guardians, the Casino, the Cavs, the Browns. You got the whole shebang, okay? And the property is looking mint. This is going to look great on photos, on sweet laundry. Little little deck action here. Look at that. Freaking downtown view, right? How sweet is that? Pretty cool, right? Imagine doing this. By the way, there's a ton of new construction right here, right? So I'm talking about these tax abatements. You are seeing all types of new construction. The Cleveland housing market is an area where we got normally like 100-year-old housing stocks. So you see these neighborhoods, folks, where the city is incentivizing developers to build new construction. What do you think is going to happen to the value of your property, right? You see this little fucking podunk property right here? See this little piece of shit, okay? When you take these fucking 100-year-old shithole houses and you tear them down and you build big old brand new houses like this or you tear down a whole strip of them and you build freaking half a million dollar to a million dollar townhomes what do you think the value does to the property you bought folks ding 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 it goes up right get in on areas where you're going to see a ton of gentrification right that's where you want to be and as far as the cash flow today it's going to look pretty good right this property all that goodness including that tax abatement that you're going to come in on they're asking 340, but I think that's a little too high. That's why it's still in the market. I believe the true price here is really 325. I think the value is at three and a quarter. And then just so you know, obviously we're going to need to do 25k worth of uh, furnishings, right? Because we got to furnish it if we're doing Airbnb. It's going to bring us up to a total investment of 350. As far as rent goes, being in such a high demand area, I anticipate a 350 dollar a night rental charge obviously we're not going to collect 10,850 in rent though because that would require us renting it 31 days a month that ain't going to happen you ain't renting this thing every single day it's short-term rentals folks you got to factor in a historical vacancy which we get in cleveland uh we're really going to be renting it about 60 percent of the time that's the short-term rental business so in reality we should be pulling in after all the costs, after having my team manage everything, a little bit over $4,000 a month or a 50 k a year NOI, right? Now, as far as what the numbers really look like, you don't have to pay all three fifty dollars in cash. This is real estate, baby. Financing other people's money. We're going to use the bank's money. We're going to use the government's money with the abatement, right? All you're going to need is one hundred six grand, okay? 81250 out of your pocket for the down payment. Then another twenty five k for Holton Weiss to go in and furnish, set everything up, get your Netflix going. Okay, $243,000 on a long-term loan. Should pencil out to what I'm thinking is going to be a 36% ROI. That's why people are coming to the Cleveland market for Airbnb properties, working with my team, getting them going. You don't necessarily think of Cleveland when you think of vacation markets, but when you actually dig deeper and you see stuff like this in the hot pocket neighborhoods, the neighborhoods where you're seeing the path to progress, you're seeing gentrification, it actually makes quite a bit of sense. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.